What is going on everyone? It's Friday, September 15th. Time is flying and we are here doing a PNL recap for my entire week of trading. I know I said I'm going to make two recaps, but Wednesday was a crazy day with the rhythmic issues. Apex was resetting a lot of the accounts and I had it a red day on Wednesday. So I was hoping to maybe get lucky. Maybe they won't check and maybe my accounts would get actually reset even though I wasn't affected by the data outage. Anyway, that wasn't the case, and I just never got to make a recap. I was just busy in the Discord, and time flew by that day because everyone was just getting... Some people were getting excited, some people were getting pissed off because their profits were getting erased, and eventually everything got fixed the way it should have been. But anyway, let's go over the numbers for this week. Let me know if you guys prefer this kind of recap, or do you prefer a daily recap? I can make daily recaps, I just got to make them quick and and just you know it's gonna be repetitive but at the same time if you want to stay up to date um it might be easier also if you want to stay up to date and know how i'm doing on a daily basis right away you could just join the discord and we share our pnl in there all the time anyway guys monday very straightforward day made 380 dollars on four funded accounts with apex so friday i had three accounts and then on Monday, I activated two accounts, one with Bullnox and one with Apex. So Apex counts because anything above the initial balance of 50,000 counts as my profit. So I made $380 on four accounts. Off to the side here, I have my Bullnox account. With Bullnox, you cannot take out the safety net initially. You have to trade for a long time and then you have to close the account to take out the safety net. So anything below 2,500, I am not even counting towards this spreadsheet, all right? So keep that in mind. If I do ever withdraw it, I'll add it to my withdrawals, but for now, I am not counting it as my profit. So the initial starting point on the Bullnox account is at 52,500 for me, all right? Versus with the Apex, it's at 50,000. Just so you know, with Bullnox, you could pass in one day, you could send in your ticket, and you will get activated within two or three days. So you don't actually have to trade for five days. So even though you still can take out the safety net, you could get trading sooner. And and yeah, it's still, it's still not too bad. Anyway, keep going with Tuesday. Tuesday was a straightforward day as well. Another $380. So Monday and Tuesday were pretty straightforward, and I was kind of getting excited obviously last week i had a little bit of a hiccup on wednesday then things just weren't smooth even though if i won you know things just weren't super easy except on thursday thursday last week was i know was straightforward and that's really what i needed after losing but then friday i know it wasn't that that easy because i only made 300 that means my runner didn't get a uh, hit and then i was kind of pissed off and i only made 900 dollars that day but those two days, Monday and Tuesday, were great. And then on Bullnox, I made $525. I am not copy trading into Bullnox. I'm trading it on a separate chart individually because I can't trade take the same size on Bullnox and on Apex because of the different contract sizes for the 50K accounts. Plus, it's good to have a little bit... Even though I'm trading the same way, the entries are a little bit different and the results are different. It's crazy how like I'm trading the same strategy the same way but the entries might be a point or two, you know, point and a half, two points different, and the results are different. So it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy there. But now we go into Wednesday, the most dreadful day for me. Within the last four weeks of trading, three Wednesdays were red days. So <laughs> next week, Wednesday, is the payout date. It's the 20th of September. I'm gonna be super cautious. I'm either gonna scale down or not even trade. I have no idea. But We'll see where I'm at at that point with the accounts. But got to be careful because last three Wednesdays, I mean, last three Wednesdays in four weeks were pretty bad. And especially last week, that was terrible. But straightforward loss. Got in, got out within a few seconds, and I took the loss. It's what I risk on these accounts. So I do have a negative risk to reward ratio on my trades which is fine but the win ratio is really high and that's what i'm counting for and this is why i'm not even sharing the strategy it does not matter like again just trading with my ball knocks and my apex accounts a little bit different there's already different results it's very hard to replicate someone else's strategy 
it does not matter what I'm doing. I'm just sharing you my journey of how things are going for me. I'm primarily a trader, right? I don't really make money on YouTube and I make some money on affiliates. Thanks to you guys for using my code. But at the end of the day, my dream is to, you know, be a great trader and not an educator or a YouTuber. I'm just doing this for fun and, um, and trading. I'm doing it obviously for, for a serious career. Anyway. You guys see that I put $760 worth of loss here. I did lose $1,045 on this account. So why did I put $760? Again, this is the main reason why I'm doing this spreadsheet and not using a trader view or Tradezilla type a journal. Anything below $50,000 on the Apex account is not mine and does not count. At the start of this day, it was day number three of this account. I've only had $760 in this account. That, that was the money I had in that account above the 50,000. That's the only money that's mine in that account that I could eventually withdraw. So there I, I lose a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars. It does not matter. 760 is all that I actually lost. All right. So that's how I keep track of it. And that's what helps me to keep an accurate representation of how much money I'm actually making and losing that is withdrawable. Then the rest of the accounts lost 1,045 and then this account was the highest balance. So I traded one more time on it and I lost one more time and I did and I called it. So everything got reset to around $1,700 to $1,800 in my accounts after that day. And it was kind of a bummer. The only good thing is that the, um, the Bolnox accounts did well that day. I had a best day on Bolnox because the runner actually worked out. And then my stock accounts or my stock trades did pretty well as well. So it was still a red day, but it wasn't too bad. Then we move on to Thursday. Thursday was actually pretty smooth. Probably the best day of the week um, because of the runner, a little bit bigger target and everything worked out really well. However, to keep that you know in perspective so you say oh i'm cheating because i didn't put on my full loss here you see how it's 220 here it's actually 505 i actually made 505 net profit on this account but since this account after this day was down to four forty nine uh thousand seven hundred dollars roughly and then i made five hundred dollars the next day Anything below 50,000 doesn't count guys. So the first $300 of that profit was in mine. I can't ever withdraw it. So I'm not counting it as profit. So if your account, or if in my case, if my account is at 49,000, right? Then I make that, let's say I bring that account back to 50,000 in a day. So I made $1,000 worth of profit. This is a zero on this spreadsheet because anything below 50,000, you can't ever take out. So why even bother counting that as your profit? It doesn't matter if you, are down to $40, um, $48,000 on your account. And then you make $1,000 that day. It does not count, okay? Until you get it back over $50,000, then that profit counts. So I was able to get it over $50,000 by $220. So I'm only counting $220 for this day. And um, I didn't scroll down, so now you guys can see the whole day. So I made 505 mm -hmm. on those accounts and then 395 on the Bolnox accounts. So the Bolnox accounts again are off to the side trying to get them to $2,500 each. Um, but on Wednesdays when I got my second Bolnox account activated, so I went from one account to two accounts and I hope to get one more eventually. But let's keep going. Then we had today. Today is Friday. Best day of the week and second best day of my funded accounts when it comes to daily PNL. And it was not the best day of trading though. No. Best day of PNL, big difference. I actually did take a loss on my accounts today. And I said to myself, if I wanna get a withdrawal next week, I have to make this back. So do I risk it or do I not risk it? And then I started scalping and I made a little bit back, a little bit back, then I got back to break even. And then I took another scalp and then Copy trader definitely had issues today. My evaluations that were getting copy traded in the same group were making a lot more. I didn't even initially lose on those accounts. But anyway, 
I ended up making like extra $200 thanks to Copy Trader. Just, I don't know what it did. I got lucky because the price action continued to go in my way, but I ended up making extra $200 because of the Copy Trader. And I don't know what happened. I thought I got out of the position, but I was still in. And then I had to manually close the trade and ended up, ended up making a little bit more, two, three hundred dollars more. So it was, it was an amazing feeling, to be honest. Wasn't expecting it. Um, was expecting to make around two, two fifty per account after fees, and I ended up making four hundred to six hundred and fifteen dollars. So that's awesome. So twenty one hundred dollars on that. But my Bonox accounts, very unfortunate. I think I'm down to like three hundred dollars from the top of the drawdown so i lost probably close to 300 dollars of top of the account today i was aiming for 575 again and the runner did not get hit and then by the time i hit the break even button it was already too late and i took a small loss on the runner so my initial target got hit then i'm supposed to start break even with the target of a little bit higher on the final run and i ended up taking not only did the runner go in my favor first and then didn't hit my target by a couple of ticks then it pulled back so fast i never even got to hit break even and i ended up losing on that so quite unfortunate there but anyway guys to summarize the week somehow it does not feel like it at all and most of it is because of the bull knocks um you know accounts don't really count and then also how choppy it's been. Like today, I don't feel good about today. Um, so hopefully we could polish it out next week. But I made 8.2K this week of profits on my funded account. I'm not counting my evaluations. I have four that I passed. No, two I passed and two are very close to passing. I'm not counting that. But 8.2K between everything. So I made $1,900 of stocks. So this is my net PL. This is my broker statement. So I'm in three days because I didn't trade on Monday and I didn't trade today with stocks. And um, where the hell is my spreadsheet? And then 2.8K, 2.78K with the um, Apex accounts. Now I'm very close to passing four more. I'll get one more on Monday, and then by end of next week, if I don't lose any accounts, I'll be trading with 10 funded accounts next week. Uh, by end of next week, maybe Friday. Which is amazing. It's something that I've been hoping to get to at some point. We'll see how the copy trader handles it. We might have to trade them separately. We'll see. But trading 10 accounts, and then if I don't lose any, of course trading 10 accounts, I'll have the potential to make, you know, between three to $5,000 a day with those uh, 10 accounts, because then the bull knocks accounts are also going to be at that point. If I don't lose them, they will be over $2,500 worth of profit in them. And I'll start counting that profit towards the spreadsheet. So it's going to be quite an amazing, um, and last week of September, because, uh, I'm not sure what day I'm, on with the um with the evaluations right now but i think i'm on like day three and four and then somewhere on day six already so i just gotta get them passed but on monday today was day seven for one of them for sure i already passed so not sure exactly i'll give you guys an update on that and um definitely don't forget 80 percent off is still going on i think till end of next week or something so take advantage obviously the payouts are getting resolved so i'm waiting for a 11.5k close to that for a payout next week um then i'll be requesting six more thousand knock on wood on wednesday so that's going to be a um a solid you know two payouts and the fact that it, this one got delayed everything's gonna seem like it's coming in together so it's gonna be close to uh eighteen thousand dollars worth of payouts in just uh, in just one basically lump sum which is quite amazing to be honest and um and yeah that's how it's going let me know what you guys think how you guys did and let me know when you guys get your payouts I'm very 
curious as to as to when we will actually see them in our bank accounts but um just give me one second guys i'm just gonna take a screenshot of my accounts here so you guys could see where i'm at so you see that i'm not making up the numbers all right i think that's good all right so we have four pa accounts here one two three four so one is at 646 that's the small one brand new one 2850 2940 and then 2740 that's the balances on my um accounts and then i have one past pa uh, evaluation this one that's cash on hand so i have one past evaluation one at 2500 one at 2700 another past evaluation so i hope these four get activated this next, next week these two should they're getting copy traded with the rest of the accounts so as long as i have a green monday um they will get um passed and it's going to be a good time but anyway guys on to the weekend busy 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 this weekend for myself so monday will be here before i blink and super excited to see where next week takes us because it's an important week for my account for sure for the payouts at least all right guys take care and i'll talk to you soon